So, welcome to part two of uh, me and Rudy's Akna Shellac lollipop loop thing at Torridon. We are just about to arrive at a place called Kulags, and that's where we'll come off this road and head over the mountains back down into Torridon. So, if you haven't watched part one already, make sure you do so. Is there anyone in? I think we'll grab some food here. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite hungry. That's I one. haven't been munching every 15 minutes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty dark and dingy place, but it's warm. It's cosy. Two rooms up the stairs. And a little store. All here free of charge for anybody who needs it. Mr. and Mrs. K. McLennan at their wedding in December 1913. Here? Yeah. Oh. I remember that last time actually. Oh, you dad! Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not very good at climbing. Why were your trousers down? <laughs> well, if you made it up there clean, it would have been a treat for you, <laughs> The lock is farther away than I remembered. There's a surprise. There we go. There's the lock. <sighs> Oh, I can see the... You can see the swirl. Clouds are coming down. Swirling back up. That's cool. Huh. So now we're in the vortex. Kind of. And that's where we are down there. That is eerie. And cool. Seven and a half hours? Seven and a half hours. Shit. Chris, quarter past six, yeah. We set off at like half ten. Okay, yeah. Doesn't feel like a big day, but it is. It's kind of snuck up on us again, hasn't it? Ah, oh, it's the nagging eye! Look at We've got a bit more daylight this time round, yeah. and there's not a hint of snow. Although it does look like snow. Same visibility. Yeah, same yeah. visibility. But the question is, has it been like this up here all day, or has the weather closed back in? I never truly know. Hey. More of a descent than I thought it was. This is just the descent to the descent. Back. Kind of where it all started. The first fork. So within reason, it's all descending from here in. So within reason, we're going to descend it in one go. If, if the legs allow. Pretty slippy looking rocks. I hope they're not.
Getting the four now. Well, you can see tired of now. Oh, damn, too close. Quite excited. Oh, I lost me there. Wow, you just get a couple of bumps in the wrong place, it just takes the speed out. Oh, mate. <laughs> Unreal. Oh. Let's keep her going, just get to the to the river down there. Oh, cramping. Crab, crab. <laughs> uh, good that I'm not the only one struggling. Oh, you were absolutely fine, by the way. That was so good. It's <laughs> oh, some of the best I've seen you ride, to be honest. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm really riding quite well today. It's all those carbs. It's all those carbs. <laughs> it's even I think it's kind of been helpful. Yeah. So if you missed part one, Rudy is experimenting with taking in 100 grams of carbs every hour of activity. And, well, I think the proof's in the pudding. <laughs> the risky camera with lens light. Aren't they all? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> it's a handshake. Nice riding, man. That wee rock pop was good, eh? That was awesome. Perfect. I just saw that drone so I was like, oh, it's a bit of a rock. I saw that rock, I was like, Aha, there's an answer. <laughs> a solution. The stock was real. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Oh, man, you had it absolutely pinned. That's me, that's me pushing to, to stay. And so, to be honest, at the start, I wasn't staying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all I want to hear after you've been away cycling. Staying yeah. For a long time. But you want to hear that all that extra riding I've been doing has led to nothing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that hilarity and chunkiness and speed. Rudy was riding unbelievably well. I had to really push to stick with him. So that's always good. You want to push each other to a certain extent. Not not over the limit, but. That was uh, that was good. That was really enjoyable. Big old day in the mountains. A lot more successful than our last visit. <laughs>